Well, it looks like we had a little bit of a correction today in uh, in all of the uh, items I'm watching over there uh, on the column. Um, you know, the dollar strengthened up pretty good today, so the dollar's kind of moving sideways. Looks like it might find support here and go higher, but I doubt it will. Um, but uh, the chart for the dollar still looks uh, pretty bullish, so we got to watch that. If uh, if these uh, metal stocks and um, agriculture stocks look like they're going to lose ground, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sell a deep in the money call. Um, which basically pulls the, any profit off of the table, but in the event that the uh, these have a, a further pullback, um, it'll be a profitable pullback. So we haven't. You always want to be a seller of options. Uh, you want to be net lo net short options, and uh, just watch the time value bleed off. And you know when you sell something for a high price, you want the time to bleed off into nothing so that it's a realized 100% gain. That's the best way I've ever found to make money with options is to sell short. And let it, let it expire to, to nothing. It's a it's a great cash generator, and it really uh, reduces it really buffers uh, any losses that you have in stocks. And you can just roll stocks roll up and down. So as they roll down, and you can sell the options against them if you're patient enough. Um, then you can then you can enjoy you can uh, eliminate or reduce your losses and uh, and get back into better position so that your your profit uh, what you want is profit, and then instead of losses you want profit. And then you want your negative to go sideways by selling the options, and then when you go up, you'll be a little bit more uh, richer um, <clears throat> after that. I'm getting uh, some pretty good feedback from this stuff, um, and, and you can use these these principles uh, if you're looking at the charts and following along uh, with just about anything. Um, found out about a couple of new things. Um, LTUM is a lithium play, and I can't remember what the lithium is being used for. Um, that I can find out, but it's a it's a good looking chart. They just had a bunch of money come into the chart, so I'll be looking at that one. And also, uh, SVM is a, a silver a silver miner. Um, I might be replacing the GSS with it. GSS seems like it's kind of lagging, um, but GSS has had some hot times too, so it's hard to lock on to one. Also, I'm looking at SLW. I might switch over the Hecla mining to that. But otherwise, everything else, the agriculture, the oil play, and the, even the um, let me look at the uh, Brazil, yeah, Brazil pulled back too, just a little bit. These, they had a little pullback after a couple of huge days, so it's normal. Um, I won't be really covering these in detail every day. It'll be a little exhausting, so anytime I make a move or uh, uh, something significant, then I can report on them. So we'll be following these for a while and see how I can do. Um, I'm just putting pretty much all my knowledge together um, to actually trade this and taking the time. It takes a lot more effort, so I'm a little tired right now doing some uh, studying and, and and sharpening my skills a little bit. So, uh, but one thing I remember when I used to sell options is, is the line in my account was always green. It always showed a profit because of the time decay. So, uh, when you sell an option, um, you have a huge advantage because when you buy an option, uh, the stock has to perform for you to profit. Uh, when you sell an option, the stock does not have to perform for you to profit. So, there's only there's only three things the stock can do. It can go down. It can stay the same or it can go up. Well, when you buy, uh, the only you, you only get one out of those three to make any money. Uh, when you sell an option, you have two out of three uh, to make money. That's a huge advantage. In fact, it can even move against you and you could break even. So think about that. So it's a huge advantage to sell short options. And uh, when I when I do that, I'll explain to you. Uh, try to you know, for those who are new to options. You can go on to the charting. I use BigCharts.com just to look, at it. and then I trade with uh, Options Express. Uh, it's very user friendly, and 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 their uh, their commissions are low. So uh, it's like 9.95 for options, and I think they're no, they're 14.95 for options and 9.95 for stocks. So that's that's about that's about right. So anyway, um, I can prove to you how everybody in the world who argues against gold and silver is wrong. I can prove it to you. And you can use this argument if you happen to recommend gold and silver, and they say, "Why should you do that?" Uh, this is what you can tell them. Uh, you know, when you when you sell your time for money at a job or whatever you do, um, they give you the money in return for your time. I know I've repeated this several times, but I have some new subscribers I want to tell you. And so, let me look, see what this looks like here. So you you take your time and you buy this and you store this this metal in my hands actually represents my time, doesn't it? Well. You want your time to be stored in something that maintains the value of your time, because uh, your time is the most valuable commodity you'll ever have. Is the time you have here on Earth, right? Um, you're only going to live so long, 
but what you can do is buy more time so you don't have to keep selling your time until you die. That's kind of like what a retirement plan is. It, it, it buys you uh, some time so you don't have to keep selling your time until your last breath. Well, that's what these metals will do, and especially gold. Uh, gold is a better maintainer of wealth, but silver will make you rich. That's what the saying goes anyway. So this proves that my the value of my time, which can never be measured really, um, it just depends on what someone decides is my time is worth, uh, or what you decide your time is worth, and uh, that that value of that time is, has to be stored. And if it, if it's just stored in dollars, then uh, you're losing the value of your precious time, year by year. The very value of your time is lost, and so the very value of your life and existence is lost, um, as far as as far as money is concerned. Now, obviously, you're still a valuable human being, but. Uh, the value of the time you spent to further yourself is just being eroded away. Uh, in the stock market, if you, unless you're a trader, if you're just a buyer and a holder, you've lost purchasing power for the last 10 years. And people still argue that it's better than gold, it's better than so, especially CNBC and all these guys. I can't believe the just the ignorance I see uh, arguing against gold. But you can argue, you can tell people uh, if you recommend gold, it's a store of value end of conversation, end of argument. It's a store of value and nothing else on the planet can say that. You can't store your oil, um, store your oil, that, that's what I was going to say. Um, oil is also a good preserver of wealth but you, can, you can't really store that anywhere. You have to go into the market. And, you know, you have to leave your money at risk in the market. They could shut down the internet. They could, they could, they can seize your money market account now, I think, something like that, if they wanted to. Um, so holding this in your hand, no one can take this. This isn't owed to anybody. This is mine, and this is the purest form of wealth. It's time stored. Uh, when should you sell your silver and gold? The answer is never. That's the answer to when you sell. All right, you can trade and multiply your wealth, absolutely. But don't ever just sell out uh, to anything, unless you're trading it for something else real, like real estate. That would be fine. Uh, real estate's going to, I think it's going to crash hard here pretty soon. So uh, save, save up, but always invest your time into something you can touch, and it will maintain uh, your value. Income property would be an excellent choice. Uh, so you could you could be you know when your when your passive income matches your liabilities, then you are truly wealthy. You don't have to spend sell any more time. Uh, that's the definition of wealth. It's not how much money you have; it's how much time you have. So anyway, blah blah blah. Um, so that that proves that owning gold is always a good idea. It's always the best idea. Even if the price of gold and silver go down, it means everything else is going down too. Your purchasing power is still protected. So don't don't concentrate so much on the price of silver. I always fall into that. I wish silver would go up. Uh, I plan to trade some silver for real estate in the future, and uh, you know silver can stay exactly the same, which it has for the last few years, which is kind of frustrating. But as I look over at real estate, I can see that I'm gaining purchasing power in real estate, even though the silver hasn't gone anywhere. My silver now buys more real estate than it did three years ago, right? So I've gained purchasing power, I've gained time on my time, and I am now wealthier because of it. Okay, so you got to look in terms of relativity, kind of three-dimensionally. Don't don't worry about buying low and selling high. It's uh, storing, putting your money in a store of value, and so that purchasing power is maintained, and um, that's more important than how much money you have. So. That solves that argument. Um, now you can go out and spread the word, and if anybody gives you any crap, you can just refer them to this video or explain to them, I love it, because uh, you're going to meet a lot of intelligent people that say, why would you want to own gold and silver? And you and then you can explain, you know, watch this video a couple times and explain that. And uh, I think my time's up. I don't want to go too long to have to do this over again, but uh, that's my spiel for today. And uh, um, that's about it. I'll talk to you later. We'll see what happens tomorrow. See what happens with the dollar, and see if we have to make any other moves. Tomorrow's Friday, the last day. Um, usually the metals are pretty good on Friday, so we'll see later.